In this part, we will solve Boolean algebra problems from gate 1999 and gate 2003 exam. In the first problem, the logical expression y is equal to a or a complement and b. This is the given logical expression and we have to calculate the equivalent of this logical expression. I will use distributive law to obtain the equivalent and the given given logical expression y is equal to a or a complement and b and from distributive law we know if we have alpha or beta and gamma then we can write it as alpha or beta and alpha or gamma we can easily prove this if I open this bracket I have alpha and alpha alpha and alpha then I have alpha and gamma alpha and gamma and the operator here is or then I have beta and alpha beta and alpha and the last term is beta and gamma beta and gamma alpha and alpha I can write as alpha because a and a is equal to a so we have alpha or alpha and gamma or beta and alpha or beta and gamma from the first three terms I can take alpha as common so in bracket we have 1 or gamma or beta or beta and gamma 1 or anything is equal to 1 so finally finally we have alpha or beta and gamma this is what we have initially and by using the distributive law we have this result I will use this result in the given logical expression and we have a or a complement and a or b a or a complement is equal to 1 so finally we have a or b as the answer and if you see the four options you will find option d is the correct option this is all for the first problem this first problem is taken from gate 1999 paper now we will move to the second problem the second problem is also taken from the same exam gate 1999 paper and in this problem we have to find the minimized form of the logical expression this is the logical expression and we have to find the minimized form there are two ways to solve this problem in the first method in the first method I will use boolean algebra and in the second method I will use Carnot map let's move to the first method boolean algebra method the given logical expression is a complement b complement c complement or a complement b c complement or a complement b c or a b c complement from the first two terms you can see a complement c complement is common so i will take a complement and c complement common in the bracket we have b complement or b and rest part will remain the same b complement or b is equal to 1 so we have a complement c complement or a complement b c or a b c complement from the first two terms we can take a complement common i am using distributive law in the bracket i have c complement b c distributive law is one of the most important law in boolean algebra and in most of the problems you have to use distributive law c complement or b c is equal to is equal to c complement or b again the use of distributive law so we have a complement c complement or a complement b or a b c complement from the last two terms we can take b as common and when we take b as common we have a complement c complement or b in bracket a complement or a c complement a complement or a c complement is simply equal to a complement or c complement and finally we have a complement c complement or a complement b or b c complement this is the answer for the second problem and let's try to match the correct option i will copy this result I will copy this result so that we can compare it with the four options and if you see the four options you will find 
option A is the correct option because we have A complement C complement then we have A complement B and the final term BC complement is also there so A option is the correct option now we'll try to solve this problem using the Carnot map the method 2 will use K map and uh, we are having three variables A, B, C are the three variables so I will make three variable K map and when we make three variable K map the number of cells are 8 A is the MSB C is the LSB so I will write I will write A here this is A complement A this is B complement C complement B complement C B C B C complement and if you see the given logical expression the first min term is A complement B complement C complement so I will write one here because for this cell we have A complement B complement C complement the second min term is A complement B C complement so I will write one here because this cell is for A complement B C complement the third min term is A complement B C so I will write one here the last min term is A B C complement and this cell here represents A B C complement so I will write one here now we'll make the pairs this is the first pair this is the second pair and this one is the third pair now we'll try to obtain the minimized result from the first pair we have B C complement B C complement from the second pair we have A complement B and from the third pair we have A complement C complement the obtained result is same the only difference is the K map we have used K map here to obtain this result and when you compare the first method and uh, the second method you will find second method is much easier this is less time consuming in order to obtain the minimized result by using the boolean algebra you have to solve all these steps whereas in case of K map you can easily obtain your answer so whenever in exam this type of problem appears you have to solve this by using the K map now we'll move to the third problem this third problem appeared in gate 2003 exam and in this problem we have to find out the number of distinct boolean expression for four variables in the boolean algebra lecture I explained you the total number of boolean expression is obtained by this formula 2 raised to power 2 raised to power n where n is the number is the number of variables and in this case n is equal to 4 so by using this formula we can easily obtain the answer 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 4 2 raised to power 4 is 16 so we have 2 raised to power 16 and when you solve this you will find it is equal to 65536 so option D is the correct option this is very important result so please write it somewhere so that you can solve this type of problems in exam now we will move to the last problem this problem appeared in the same paper gate 2003 exam if the functions w x y and z are as follows w is equal to r or p complement and q or r complement and s x is equal to this y is equal to this and z is equal to this then there are four options and we have to choose the correct one there are two steps involved in this problem in the first step you have to minimize w x y and z and in the last step the second step you have to compare them so let's move to step number one in this step we will minimize them w is equal to r or p complement q or r complement s i will consider the first and the last terms and by using the distributive law i have r or r complement and r or s or p complement and q r or r complement is one so we have r or s or p complement and q this is what we have as the value for w in the same way when you minimize x then x is equal to p r complement s complement or q complement r complement s complement when you minimize y you will find y is equal to r and s or p complement and q 
or Q and R complement when you minimize Z you will find Z is equal to R or S or P complement and Q and now we'll move to step number two step number two in this step we will compare W X Y and Z when you compare W and Z you will find they are same so W is equal to Z and I'll try to find out X complement X is equal to P R complement S complement or Q complement R complement S complement I will take I will take R complement S complement common so we have P or Q complement R complement S complement this is X now I will find out X complement I will use De Morgan's law and we have P or Q complement its complement or R or S again I will use De Morgan's law we'll have P complement and Q or R or S and this is equal to this is equal to Z so Z is equal to X complement these are the two results that we have obtained in step number two now we'll move to the four options and uh, when you compare you will find option A is the correct option because W is equal to Z and X is equal to Z complement because we have Z equal to X complement Z equal to X complement if we complement both the sides we'll find Z is equal to X so option A is the correct option and this is all for this lecture see you in the next one